Hopefully I make it in time. Ooh, okay. Now you guys uh, really like the fact that I played Battlefield 5 uh, a couple days ago, so I decided why not just do it the same thing but with Battlefield 1. I mean, you guys want it, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try to use some uh, weapons in Battlefield 1 that I normally never use because I... You know, it, it, it gets boring to use the same weapons over and over again. So this time we're using the Vitelli rifle. Which has a sweet spot that I still don't understand, as you can see. Thank you, and hit, and thank you, and this guy, no. By the way, Dying Light 2, the sponsor of today's video, is almost here. Launch day is the 4th of February, and I am personally really excited to get my hands on it and actually make some videos for you guys. It's available for pre-order right now with the link down below. Recently, Techland released the final episode of the Dying to Know show, and we got yet again a whole bunch of new information about the game. We got to see some co-op gameplay, which is really cool. We saw how the game looks on last gen, so the PS4 and the Xbox One version of the game, and of course also next gen, and it all looks really really good we also got some new details about the story we got some more combat gameplay more parkour gameplay so yeah i'm pretty hyped the game also has a deep progression system with different skill trees one for combat and one for parkour and i can already tell you that i'm going for a super agile parkour build because the free running looks absolutely amazing in this game like i said dying light 2 is now available for pre-order so be sure to check the link down below in the description or in the pinned comment for more information hope to see you guys there and a big thanks to Techland for sponsoring this video. Okay, so the next gun we're gonna use is the Howl Automatic, or Howl, or however you pronounce it. The main difference between this gun and the Falco Hill is basically how it looks and how it sounds. I think this one sounds better. You, get up. You, get up. Nope. Why would you respawn? Why? <laughs> I was right there and you respawn, you got me killed. I hate when people do that. You see, somebody's coming for me and I'm not skipping because I'm waiting for him to revive me. That's how it's supposed to go. There we go, got one. Pick him up. That's how it's how you're supposed to do it. There we go. Oh, there's one other thing. This gun has a bipod which makes it extremely accurate. At least, if you're not trash like me. So yeah, the Howl Automatic is definitely a gun that I like. Come on! I hate this gun. Okay, time for the sniper variant. It does have a bipod, so you can basically spam this thing. What is this guy doing? What is he doing? We lost objective A. What are you doing? He's like... Is this a joke? I just spawned in! They got all seven objectives. Did you hear that? That's horrible. Why can't I hit this guy? What in the... Oh, I'm aiming too low. Let's try it again. Too high. And then he moves away, of course. Why is it not... Uh. You know what? Let's open a battle pack. We got a battle pack, so let's open it. We're probably gonna get trash anyway. You see what I mean? Let's get a superior battle pack. Come on, I want something cool. Not a duplicate, please. Just something cool. Yes, very cool animations and all that, but... Uh... Okay, didn't have that one. Okay, there we go, a new map, Volga River. Again, a map that's not coming in rotation that often. And we're gonna use yet again a rifle that I hardly use. And that's the Arasaka Patrol variant. I, I really don't like this gun, actually, because of this. Look. You see that? The, 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 end, the ending animation where it just comes back into your line of sight? It really throws me off. I'm probably the only one who thinks that, but... I know, it's still a cool and iconic rifle. So if this doesn't work out, I'm gonna switch to the infantry variant. That's a hit. Oh, a one-shot kill. Okay. A one-shot kill again? There wasn't a headshot, was it? 
I'm so incredibly screwed. Ah! Wait, I burned to death? Oh, that's the thing I hate the most about Battlefield 1. There is a guy somewhere here. Oh, there he is. There's another one over there. Oh, I got him. Hell yeah, nice. Come on, turn around. Turn around, there you go. Are you guys gonna get me? Oh, you know, I hate that the most out of everything. I'm gonna get this guy. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. There we go. Oh no, oh no, that's not good. Oh, stupid horse gets stuck every single time. And yeah, I know my aim was garbage, I know, okay? Let's equip the uh, Arasaka infantry. We have lost the I don't like the recycle animation of this rifle. It's it's just it's it's throwing me off. See what I mean? It takes so long to get it lined up because of that. Oh my god, I'm so bad bro. I'm so bad. Come on. You see what I mean when it takes long to, to line up a shot again after the first one because of the really weird animation? We got each other. We freaking traded. It's time for a different kind of rifle. I don't know. I just wanted the straight pool bolt. And I didn't want to use the Ross Mark III again. Because I always use the rifle pretty much. Often. There we go. Oh, there are more people. There we go. And another one. Come on, I can see you! There we go. Two tanks. I can't do much as a scout. Well, he moves away. Okay. I'm so dead, bro. I'm so dead. What do you want me to do? Well, at least it looks like we're gonna win this one. Time for the Perino. Always fun. You can actually see the random bullet deviation working. You can see the random bullet deviation. Why should I? Should you ever use an LMG in this game? Okay, the Hewitt Automatic, one of the most obscure guns in the game. This is supposedly a very accurate gun, but I doubt it because pretty much nothing is accurate in this game. Look at that! Thank you. I mean, come on, man. I even hit a headshot. It's time for the river rolls. Nope, it's not time for the river rolls. It's time for the river rolls. The only gun that's remotely accurate in this game. How is that po- Bro. Oh my goodness, what an unsatisfying victory, but a victory nonetheless. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Battlefield 1 in 2022 is still alive and well. So if you want to pick it up and play it, you can technically. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to drop a like in this video and don't forget to subscribe as well. You can join the Discord server, link for that is down below. With that being said, I see you guys next time.